right so i'm going to go ahead and disclose this right now at the very beginning so we can get this out of the way this is not a video that is meant for entertainment it's not a video that's meant for watching you know cool gameplay or whatever if, if you're here for any of that you know just to be entertained um don't you know don't waste your time this is a direct message this is supposed to be a direct message towards bmg and hopefully it can get to at least some people that can see it i know that my channel isn't really big enough to kind of just send it off and then immediately assume that people and like devs or whatever are going to see this but we got to talk it's about time we have a talk let's sit down and, and talk a little bit here. so recently there's been the re-release of the battle pass i forget which number it is but it's the battle pass with the octavius mordex lore that goes on with the whole like the whole story arc of diana and what would have happened if she got corrupted by evil when she was hunting monsters and stuff like that story of it is pretty cool um and so they decided to do something with it speaking of story they decided to do something with it with its re-release version and kind of go through the game with uh with cutscenes quote unquote now they made these cutscenes is he trying to do a mission okay we're not gonna do that right now they decided to go ahead and add <laughs> quote unquote cutscenes to the game and it didn't really it's not really being received well and i'm gonna go ahead and, and show it here in post i don't have the footage of the quote unquote cutscenes that they released for the battle pass right now but i'm gonna show it in post and these scenes are like they're not very well made to say the least uh very least actually so what's going what the problem is that people have with this is the fact that the stuff looks like it was made in like 10 minutes right and here's the thing the reason that i consider that an issue is because bmg is a company that is now like a big enough company to where they can they can make really good things We've seen that be done before with like the the trailer stuff like for the new legends or whatever we've seen that be done before so my thing is how is it that you let yourself create something and not only create it but then gas it up to make it seem like it was really well made it's like we've been asking for cutscenes for a very long time like a, some sort of animated story for the game and it's cool that they like even went and did this uh, i'm not complaining at that part I'm not mad at them like attempting to do something really cool like like cutscenes you know that's dope but what bothers me is like why are they it's like there, there's got to be teams or something in bng that are like not making very good decisions oh whoa that are not making very good decisions as a team or, or something or they just i don't know they aren't thinking twice about what they release it's like the, the whole world has now seen you know people who play and people who don't play the game have now seen these quote-unquote cutscenes and they're thinking to themselves it's like is this what brawl is really like like brawl already isn't a very you know popular game i mean it was popular in the sense that it's okay it's popular in the sense that it's known sure but it's not in its play rate and this is decisions like this is why decisions on making things like that like these cutscenes is exactly why the game is not you know prospering like it should like we're always at a, in a in a point to where it should be a lot more played, a lot more respected, and a lot better doing in the public than it is currently. But because of stuff like this, it's not. That was good. Why would they go out and make some stuff like this and then act like it's <laughs> it's really good or or even try to? It doesn't make sense, right? A big issue with BMG is that they have this whole decision making. This decisions that they're making are not really good ones. First, it was with the whole like their reasoning behind, for an example, another one of the updates that came out was the level 100 titles being able to change to being golden, right? The level 100 titles, the fact that they added something for where the how, how it works is that if you get a level 100 on a legend, you can unlock the name to be yellow, but it's supposed to be gold. It really is just yellow. Um, and that's that's like cool. You know, that is dope that they added that. And it's really neat to see. And I'm, I'm glad that they did it, but it wasn't executed in a very good way because the name that's supposed to be golden isn't even golden it's just it's just like a a bathroom <laughs> yellow like a bathroom stain yellow how do they go through with these great ideas and then just execute them so poorly still you know brawlhalla is a, a fairly old i don't know why i did that a fairly old game now it you would think by this point that they would know you know the consequences of what they do and think twice about it before they just go out putting things down All right, sick. 
I think I lagged out of that combo and it still worked, but yeah. The people put so much care, the people as in the player base, they care a lot for this game. Uh, people like me, I try to create content on it that's a little bit more creative because I love the game so much. I played it for so long, obviously because I love the game so much. So it's like, why is it, why? The, I think the biggest issue that BMG has right now is that they haven't, let, let me, hold on, let me, let me get to the next game. The Dark Art, is that a Petra title? like the level 50 title, which by the way, that was a great change. The titles that you get for level 50 is cool. But yeah, with the whole like poor execution on the level 100 titles and then the these quote unquote cutscenes coming out, it's just like, how does BMG continue to make these these ideas, what, like cool ideas, but then execute them so poorly? Oh my gosh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so the, the problem is that the decision making comes from, it seems like with the way that they're making their current decisions with how the doggone, like all these different patches and updates are going, it's like Brawlhalla hasn't realized that, or, or BMG hasn't realized that it's not, the, the game does not make the players, the players make the game what it is. And if you continue to add things and do things in ways that the community and the people who play the game are just not enjoying and you're continuously receiving feedback for it. And then when you when you finally do address it, it's just like done in ways like this. Like people are gonna, eventually people are just gonna stop, you know, playing the game and they're gonna stop taking it because they've, <laughs> we've been on, <laughs> we've, we have tried to defend, or at least a lot of us have tried to defend Brawlhalla for a long time now and it's like how much longer you know how much longer will it take until we finally that's crazy the devs and I'm not saying that the devs don't care about the game they obviously care about the game like very very much I, I do believe that there are people who work really hard on this game to continue to get it to grow in the way that it is growing even though it is kind of slowing down its own growth and stunting it a lot how much longer are we gonna go bmg for us to realize like you need to listen to the at some point you gotta think all right if the majority of the player base is saying that the game has these kind of issues that stuff like this or stuff you know stuff like the the dash changes or dodge um dodge changes that were in experimental before is stuff like the whole uh not adding level 100 rewards but then them being added like the way that they have now has been talked about if a whole like ui revamp has been talked about and asked for for so long if clans that have been asked for for so long to have like an actual purpose in the game still hasn't been done to this day it's like where where are your priorities at what are your priorities right now and how are they so wrong because they they are wrong they should not be what they are now it's 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 time to stop you know you've made enough money to the point to where you can make good changes like this in the game because a lot of the things that the player base even ask for the most are not things that would require a lot, you know? Like nobody is really asking for more crossovers. Like sure, people want cool things. Obviously there's always gonna be people who want crossovers with like Pokemon or, or Dragon Ball or, or things like that. But nobody's like, you know, been demanding that for, for so long. Add clan fixes, you know, change up the, the UI, add it to where certain moves on, on weapons that should not drop anymore, you know, seven years later after the game came out, continue to drop. There's still times where even d -Light on Lance can drop at times. There's Gauntlet uh, and Light that still drops. You know, Sword D-Light that drops, especially on map, uh, maps like this. But honestly, this is like a horrible map, you know. And speaking of maps, there should be changes where people are allowed to ban as many maps as they want. I don't, there's no valid, like good reason as to why the banning option is only like two maps max like all the time and that's like that just doesn't make any sense there's no reason it should be that way like if you want more people to play the maps that were designed that's crazy but yeah if you want more people to play the maps that are designed in the game then how about you i don't know make the maps better and don't do ones like this you know it's like nobody wants to play a map that has a doggone platform in the middle of it that you can fall through stuff like that it needs to it's time to start making the better decisions and it's been time honestly like it's it's not something new the reason, I think a bigger reason as to why BMG has like made decisions like this, has focused more on crossovers and more on, you know, things that people aren't really asking for is because they know that they can get away with it because there isn't a whole lot of competition. There isn't a lot, there, there's not a whole lot of games that are in the medium like Brawl is right now or made in the way that Brawl is. Like Brawl is free to play. You know, games like this, 
are typically not free to play. But with things like multiverses coming out, competition is going to start to rise and it's going to start making people less and it's going to make people realize more and more like, hey, Brawl, <laughs> you know, they do cool things at times, sure, but they don't really treat the player base well, like in terms of listening, in terms of communicating. Like I said earlier, the game does not make the players. The players is what makes the game. Without the people who play it, the game isn't, it, it isn't anything really, which is why like things like, okay, things like the whole events that they're doing right now, like with the, the rewards that you're able to get with the new Artemis skin that's coming out with the new colors, events like that are things that need to happen more often and less doing transactional things with crossovers and different things that you could add to the shop to pay money for like that's not what you know people are, are desperate for it's cool it's great to add and i'm never gonna shy that away you know the star wars crossover the star wars crossover is great star wars crossover was awesome and that was a cool thing to see it was a cool you know addition um there's obviously a lot more that they could have done with that but the fact that they even did it is still neat it's just like nobody was <laughs> It's, it's not a, a absolute necessity, you know, it's like thinking it's thinking of it like this Imagine you're going out to try to survive in the wilderness and then instead of bringing a uh, Some water, you know, you bring a phone or, or just a, a switch or something like a Nintendo switch because You want to be entertained and don't want to be bored on the island It's like yeah, that's cool to have but do we need that? No, it seems like the minds of BMG is kind of like a like a platinum player that's trying to get into diamond it's like you know what you need to do but you keep deciding on doing the improper things first and it's like why like why it, it just doesn't make any sense so that's kind of what i wanted to talk about i know this video is a little bit more all over the place i don't typically do things in this format um i thought he was waiting for me to get a weapon for a second anyway if you guys enjoyed you know um you can leave a like subscribe but again the whole purpose of this video is really to get to bmg so if you guys could share it if you made it to this far you made it to the end please do share this video as much as you can try to get it to where bmg can see it i i didn't want to go and, and designate an entire like formatted video on this mainly because again well a couple reasons but mainly it's because i know my channel is very small so it's going to be harder to reach uh, BMG and I, I just rather not waste my breath but I do hope that this could be a way you know that that so, at least some people some devs could see this at BMG and then that it can make the difference oh my god but yeah so please do you know try to get this shared as much as possible because people BMG needs to see this